Today I'm gonna tell you the story of the time where I accidentally worked for NCIS Los Angeles. How do you accidentally work for a popular TV show? Well, by being at the right place at the right time and just being freaking awkward, that's how. So I had just moved to America to work as no pair. I was 18 years old and I got this unexpected week off from work. So I did what every reasonable 18 year old with money and no parents would do. Fly to Los Angeles. <laughs> so there I was, Los Angeles, skipping merrily along the Santa Monica Pier in my summer dress and my trusted camera in hand, when suddenly LL Cool J runs past me with a gun. I'm a huge fan of NCIS and NCIS Los Angeles and my whole brain just goes, <laughs> that looks just like a scene from, oh my god, I had somehow managed to just walk straight onto set. They were setting things up and preparing to start shooting and before I could even register that this was, you know, a set and, you know, move away, some guys came along in like super speed and put up barriers around us with me on the inside. As I said, I was carrying my camera with me and it was my old Canon camera with a huge ass zoom lens on it so it looks very professional and the people setting up barriers, they didn't seem to kind of question my presence and everything happened really fast and I was suddenly like shit barriers I'm trapped trapped and I I didn't know what to do so I kind of just lingered there for a couple of seconds and then this woman comes up to me and she's like all right okay okay so um this is how we're gonna do it they're gonna start at five just stand behind the line and you're out of shot and just do your thing okay and instead of going oh I don't belong here I just I just walked on here by mistake I'm sorry I'll leave now I go okay Okay, I mean, I was already inside the barriers and my whole brain just went, it's too late to turn around now, you're in this for life. And that's how the two most nerve wracking hours of my life started. So they're shooting a real television show, you know, that I've watched and that's awesome. So they're shooting the scene where people, you know, chase each other, they run around, they get shot, and someone dies, and there I am, standing behind this line, pretending to take pictures, because that's what the woman told me to do. I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, Caroline, why didn't you just kind of sneak away instead of pretending to work there? <laughs> but the thing was, after a while, they were shooting on Santa Monica Pier. That's a big, like, attraction. Like, so many people started to gather to watch him film. And it was literally impossible for me to sneak, you know, just sneak away without having to ask someone to, you know, literally open the barriers and kind of help me through the crowds of people. So I just thought it was easier to just kind of stay where I was. Hmm? No? No? You don't agree? I, me neither. The funny thing is, I figured out how extremely adaptable I am because like people were talking to me you know crew and actors I'm gonna come to that later but people were talking to me like you know I was one of them and speaking in like technical terms and stuff and I mean I I was with them on this I <laughs> I was part of the gang after like 10 minutes <laughs> they kept on calling breaks between shots and stuff and in this time I had to kind of socialize with people and this was probably the worst part because you know people came up to me like you're the new girl right and I'm like I'm yes I'm, I'm I'm very new the guy who plays Marty on the show actually came up to me during one of these breaks and he's like uh hey hey you getting any good shots there and I'm like with the most American accent I could master because I couldn't have anyone you know blow my cover at this point you know, I couldn't, if I would have spoken with some kind of European accent of any kind, he would have known. So, uh, I I'm like, yeah, I'm getting good shots. Totally. Very good shots. Good lighting and the pier is pretty and, yeah. Oh, I'm so, such a shit. Uh, we then kept on small talking about the weather and stuff because this was a really warm day and they were doing all these running scenes and he was like, oh, I look all sweaty and gross and I'm like, no, you look good, you look good, don't, don't, don't you worry, you look good. But we laugh and everything's good. But then Chris O'Donnell comes up to us and when I was younger, I had the biggest freaking crush on this guy. <laughs> And this is probably the most terrifying moment of my life. I know I'm smiling, but it was so scary because it's like me and these two really famous and pretty actors. 
and it was really scary, but then luckily they called them back to set. Thank God, I would have put, probably thrown up on them or something. <laughs> so when they finally finished shooting, I'm like, okay, the second they take down these barriers, I'm gonna sprint out of here and no one will ever know. That's when the woman calls me over from earlier, uh, you know, the one who told me to get to work. <laughs> She's like, come here, come here. And I'm like, oh my god, she's gonna kill me, she figured me out, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna be arrested, they're gonna take my camera. But instead, she, she's like, sweetie, did you get the information sheet for tomorrow, you know, with locations and stuff? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay, not gonna die. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I got it. I, someone gave it to me already. Thanks, though. And she's like, okay, alright, well then I'll see you tomorrow, bye! barricades down and I am outy but not before I get at least four bye see you tomorrow from cast and crew oh guilt wonder what would have happened if I just showed up the next day <laughs> just to see how long I could play out this evil scheme of mine I wouldn't mind it was really nice working there they were so nice <laughs> well that's my story what we've learned is that I'm a liar and a piece of shit that apparently would do okay in the entertainment industry all right, don't think too bad of me. Bye!